Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here. Another series of Rise of Nations, the extended edition. I believe this has Patriots and Thrones. You know, I'm not entirely sure. I got the full version or whatever on Steam. And yeah, it's been a while. This is version 1.20. Not sure if that matters. I don't think there's a whole lot of adjusting or balancing going on with this. But I've been promising for quite some time to get back into Rise of Nations. And the only way I could really think of to make that stick is if we did something that was going to take a while, you know? Uh, how about a Conquer the World campaign? Uh, I'm definitely up for some Alexander the Great. Uh, I'm going to go moderate. This game is definitely one I'm not going to throw out and be like, I'm the best, deal with it. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm up for some fun, so a little bit of moderate if that's cool with you. Moderate. Moderate. I can't talk. Uh, anyway, little Alexander, Alexander the Great, let's do this thing. Alexander the Great was one of history's most brilliant generals. Alexander was thrust onto the throne at a young age after the murder of his father, the king of Macedonia, in 336 BC. At the time of his death, 13... All right, I'm, I'm already done listening to you. Okay, so, priorities. Conquer the barbarian rebels in the north in Thrace, who revolted upon your father's death. The Greeks believe that your father... Wait, the Greeks believe that with your father dead, they can usurp you as the major power in the region, show them the error they're thinking by bring Greece back under your command. Victory conditions, win by controlling the known world through con conquest and diplomacy. Alexander rules. Uh, let's see, start every battle with Alexander unit, he grants bonuses, select him, find out his bonuses. Yep. Uh, generals gain special cards, gain special general cards that can be used in unique general units in the battle. Gosh, I can't. I can't read at all today. What does it matter? <clears throat> Let's try this all over again. Uh, some can also be held for a bonus or played in the strategic map for a benefit. Cavalry, horse units are critical to Alexander's victory, but you need military research for in order to train heavy and archer horse units in each battle. Battle icons across swords will appear next to scenario tiles and indicate... Oh, are indicative of historical battles. The numbers represent the path that Alexander took through the ancient world. No allied victory. Alexander will stand for nothing less than conquering the world. No patriots. You do not receive patriots from your senate as their place has been taken by Alexander. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I do have patriots and thrones. Okay. So, this is the Conquer the World campaign. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but I'll give you a quick explanation. Um, I guess I should have gone through the, through the tutorial to give you an idea. But, the way this works is we have territories. And we have armies. Each territory produces some sort of a thing. Either a specialty good, like see there's a bunch of icons here. That means that there is a wonder here. Uh, there's tribute, so it makes money every single whatever. Or just when it's captured. And a supply center, which allows the support of additional armies. Uh, the number four is the territory strength, with how much crap we'd have to throw at it to kill it or whatever. Um, but realistically, when Alexander reaches wherever he's going to reach, um, it actually just plays out as a normal match. Now, the dotted lines are a lot like Risk. If you've ever played Risk before, those are territories that are connected, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my. So, uh, selecting Alexander, these are all the places we can go. I'm assuming these that have no uh, strength mean just take it, right? I'm guessing that. Um, let's see. At the bottom here, we've got our information grid or our information box or whatever. Uh, we have any bonus cards that we can use. And so we have a general. Start the battle with General Parmenio. Uh, gives extra cavalry and increases the attack of nearby cavalry. Ambush lasts longer, costs less craft. He may be played twice. That's cool. So uh, cards can be... Bonus resources, bonus people, bonus reinforcements, whatever. Um, we have our diplomacy, we have our center map button, which is always important. And then what we're doing here. Uh, we have 18 turns until the end of the campaign, so we got to plan this a little wisely. Uh, I want to go here and then cut over. That seemed like a thing. Uh... Good start, game. Oh, okay. Okay. 
the Ill Illyren? Holy crap. Barbarians in this territory have revolted against your rule. You've rallied with one of the local tribes with their assistance. You must you must crush them and all others who oppose you. Okay, so you do have to fight a battle. In each battle, you'll control Alexander. He's quite powerful. Okay, good. You. Uh, scout. How many cities do I have? Oh, I have a few. Okay. Okay, Alexander, plus one attack. Extra two attack to heavy, double craft, horse march move. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, thank you for that. Um, you're just gonna auto do the thing. Oh, you do have a library. Very good. Okay, so they started me off here in between these enemies, right? Who's purple? Not mine. Is blue on my team? Who's not on my team? Oh, our allies are under attack by the treacherous queen. Okay. They asked for help by removing their... Okay, they're our allies. Go this way, then. <laughs> A little hard to tell who's what doing what around here. Um, a stable, thank you. If you're my allies, can I do this? Oh, I need level three. Trade with other nations requires exploration. Okay. Uh, force march. Yep, let's do it. And decoys. Okay, now that they've lost all their supply... Oh, I'm sure this is too early in the game for attrition, but still at the point. Let's chuck that there. You can stay there. Thank you for your help with our enemy. Now that we are free of those brutes, we can help you defeat your other enemies. Excellent. Excellent news. Man, I am rusty as all heck with this game, for sure. Okay. This place needs to be defended up. Oh, queen defeated. Okay, cool. So there's nowhere else I have to worry about it. Well, I was going to build up a bit of an army and try to sophisticate this up a little bit, but I don't even know if I have to. What is this? Relics? Ruins. Yep. Man, it has been a while since I played. But I'm really happy to get into it, and I hope you guys don't mind I have to play with a, you know, moderate, you know, not biggest, hardest difficulty ever. Uh, let's just get this party going. Resources for days, plays if we're losing, you know? Nope, 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 no, 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 nope, there. Okay, I need a bunch of stuff. No, hi. Are you going there? Fine, go there. That's acceptable. Um, I need mercantilism, or what's next? Coinage? Heck yes. I need research like crazy. Uh, you're gonna go there, I'm sure. Cool, fills that up. Um, they don't have uh, attrition researched, so there's absolutely no problem with me just trouncing through enemy territory. Excellent. Um, I would like... Nothing, because I don't have enough resources. Go away. I guess that's what I get for doing all the research. See, that's another thing I don't care for. There's an actual time limit in the game. Alexander, I need you up front. We need decoys. So, Alexander has a few abilities of his own. Uh, decoys literally duplicates the units on the field. They do minimal, if any, damage. They have little, if any, health, but it acts as a distraction. Um, we'll also crank on an ambush, which makes my troops... Oh. Horse nomads. The only way to eliminate them is to destroy their stables. Find their stables and destroy them. Well, I'm busy doing other stuff, man. Yeah, it was being raided. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna do Allegiance. Okay, we need to back off. This is not enough troops to do anything. Come here. Attack the guy building the thing, how about? Change this government to despotism. I don't care. Great. Return back. Well, I'm really glad I'm building uh, extra stuff. guys to get in there and heal up a bit. They just capped the city. No. They're just being really annoying about it. Ah, uh, do I attack? Do I wait till I have more stuff? I don't know what to do, man. Okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. All you all get in there. All y'all. Okay. Um. Despotism, yes please. Finally, a siege factory. Man, these early missions are running kind of slow. I was hoping to have this knocked out in like four minutes, but that's okay. I can't be that picky, right? Um, whatever, a few more light horses. Get in. Gah, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Siege factory is ready. Can you not do anything yet? Not even with our allies? Alright, oh, exploration. Okay, Blue is putting up a little bit of an offensive. That's at least good. Once I get any amount of those catapults, I'd like to get moving on. Um, I need Tech 3 Military. Yeah, but not really, right? Like, it's it's being attacked quote-unquote. Okay, let's get some proper stuff going on here. Lumber mill. Granary. Um, another one of these. Okay, we have Tech 3 yet? Oh, it requires Tech 4. Holy crap. Whatever. I just need some troops here. Dude, over here. Selling a map of locations for 200 wealth. I don't have 200 health. Kill him is an option? Also, the exploration thing shouldn't be that big of a problem. I got plenty of time. Let's see here. Hold on. Is there a way to speed up the game speed just a little bit? Uh, Does that help at all? Hopefully. Yeah, don't worry, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal, really. Okay, evac. You guys are looking pretty, pretty good. 
Okay, now I feel some confidence we can get some scouting going on. Clearly they're more in the north. They have to be, right? You're not doing anything? No, you, you, well, hang on. Ooh, rare stuffs. A couple of rare stuffs. Can you just come here and grab this? That would be just super. Some wealth, awesome. Unless they're just being spawned randomly, you know what? Hi. Purchase. Oh, I was right! <laughs> I was right, I was literally right there. That's okay. Alexander, how you doing? Ambush, please. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty darn funny. Okay, merchant. That's a thing. Merchant. Oh, there it is. Uh, if you're not familiar, these rare resources allow for bonuses. So they'll provide extra resources of some caliber, or things will be cheaper, or something. But it makes it worthwhile to capture those up. This time I would like again decoys. Or like decoys is what I want. Oh yeah, that works it over good. So good. Okay. How many things I gotta tell you? Move over here, man. Bunch of troops stocked up. Yes, recruitment. That's what I wanted. Oh, can I sell? Is there. There we are. Don't worry, guys. Well-deserved rest once this is all done. Uh, then more battle, I mean. Yay! Finally! Our cavalry commanders have learned much by fighting them as a result. The companion and horse archer lines are now available at our stables. I already knew- I were, I'm already training those things. Ah, yeah, whatever. Great. Doesn't matter. <laughs> like, am I not already? This is already full- that uh, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Okay. Exploration. Oh my gosh, so rusty with this. Staying by my word. The ones that are damaged, I want rested up a bit. Okay, we got some people not doing nothing. Yes, you are one of those folk. Um, what I would like is a university. I'd like a market. I'd like a temple. I'd like all this stuff. All this stuff really directly translates to either better territory control or better resource production. Market produces money without really doing anything. Uh, the temple, I believe, increases taxation. Or at least extends my culture, so it increases my territory range. And the library and the university allow me to train more scholars to make more knowledge. So, it all works out. 
it's a this game is an absolutely delicate balance between how much do you invest economically versus military versus whatever it's all very delicate i like to think anyway and i'm not good at this game at all really <laughs> end of discussion i thought there was going to be like well i'm not the greatest but no no i i'm, I'm bad at this game <laughs> uh which is okay Again, I think it's cool that, you know, admitting that kind of stuff and being like, you know, straight up honest, if you guys want to have some fun with me watching me play this game, let's play the game. Let's have some fun. But, you know, I, I don't have the mega pro MLG strats on me. Oh, I didn't have a temple built at all? Son of a gun, I did not. Okay. Getting impatient. That should do. Come on, let's go. This is at least enough to capture... Actually, let's form up. Let's run decoys. I'd like you to move up, dude. And ambush. Did it work? Yep. Go! Hopefully our ally has detected our movements and will be assisting shortly. Um, where's Alexander? Ambush doesn't last really as long as I'd like, but that's okay. For invisible to enemy troops, it's certainly not bad. Oh, they researched attrition. Look at that. Lucky them. And it's our territory now. Move to defend it. Yep, not a big deal. Move up, defend it. my army getting in too far without supply and everything getting in there so at least a little bit of maneuvering might be required for me let's move up a little bit as long as the catapults are attacking the capital i kind of don't have too much order or rhyme or reason as to what else might occur get on it in there nice Cool. Mission accomplished. Uh, continue to strategic map, right? Okay. So, mission complete. We got everything from the territory that was there. Uh, bonus cards if there were any. Tribute if there was any. Um, rare resource. We got horses, it looks like. Does it say what it is? You'll gain the benefits in future battles as long as you control this territory. Okay, it doesn't tell me what it does. And a supply center which allows me to have a new army. Great. Cool. Uh, I'm grateful for the business. I'm able to use that money to make a fortune. Here's 30 tribute as a tone of my appreciation. Oh, that's awesome. I have a new army. Okay, very cool. Very cool. You know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of slice these up as two episodes per mission. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit more research on how to do this a little smarter. Um, before we just bulldoze forward. Uh, at the end of every single mission, there's also world events. These are what happened where. So, I don't know if you noticed, but the Egyptians moved over and have taken Libya. Uh, the Romans have taken Sicily. Yep. Uh, wait. Right? Oh, my geography is so bad. Arabia. Yeah, that's Libya. Okay, I'm not completely losing my crap. Um, oh, Romans are over here. Duh. Yeah. There's that. Sicily is taken by the Romans. 
Okay. Great. That's all there is to it. Um, so close. And then, yeah, next turn occurs. Yep, got another army because of an additional supply. Uh, now, Alexander is a part of every single battle. I believe that's how that works. And the thing is I can only attack once. I believe I only have the capability of attacking once, even though we've got armies here. What armies are also going to represent is defensive uh, capabilities. So having an army local to wherever we're at will also help defend, I believe. So, anyway. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to call this an episode. Thank you all for joining me. Conquer the World, Alexander the Great, kicking off here. First episode in the books. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time.